Oh, you fucking Megan Mo! You fucking Mo! Alright, you fucking Mo! Fuck! And then she hit up what? Incorrect! <laughs> Where's the manager? I demand to speak to the manager. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Those are the sound of bees. Beads. Bees. Bees. In your brain. Ugh. This is bees in my fucking hat. My bonnet. Yeah. A rant cast it's an about things. Well, it's, 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 it's essentially a rant. It's a slice of life. Sure. It's it's a slice of, you know, me fiddling with my arcade cabinet. And okay, before a- before we dive into that, let me just I was just gonna introduce what like just a bit more. So the last episode was on PlayStation and consumerism of PlayStation, preserving- PlayStation now or whatever it is. <laughs> exactly of pre- PlayStation uh, sudden. With a slice of game preservation in there and you know, backwards compatibility talk and all that sort of stuff. Use pectin if you wish to preserve your games. And this week, this episode is brought to you by the Royal Australian Doctors Association. And I am here from the Doctors Association to tell you that if you're a loved one, have light gun syndrome, there's nothing you can do. It's Buckle ter- up because it's going to suck. It's terminal. This is Gabe's. Bonnet well, this week. Okay, so this one actually kind of starts four years ago because basically I went into the Aldi and you know Aldi are fucking insane. So they'll just, I swear to God, you could roll up at For an those Aldi. Those who don't know what an Aldi is, it is a European supermarket in yeah. Australia chain. Well, uh, the thing, the thing that sets places. Aldi apart is they actively eschew any kind of customer service. And all of this is in the fucking, you know, thing of like, okay, we're going to make it cheap. So Aldi's meant to be the cheapest. I don't know. I've never really. Every time I go in there, it just everything looks like the off-brand version of everything, and it freaks me out. Look, as someone who shops and like like groceries for like a household, you yeah. know, yeah, it is the cheapest. All right, like I'll take and, and like honestly, the quality is not any different. Oh, it's not it's not an issue of quality so much as it's an issue of like familiarity. Oh, 100 like percent. For me, yeah. it's like I need to get something that I know tastes like what I want. Yeah, I don't want to have to experiment with this shit and then get home and find out. See, that my I'm the person who likes sucks. experimenting. Yeah, we went. Uh, we went to a fruit store on Saturday, and I nearly bought a dragon fruit, <laughs> and I nearly bought some weird ass apples. Like they had like eight different kinds of apples, and I'm like, I ain't never seen these before. Apple. So next time, I'm gonna go buy some for yeah, a taste. Get some weird fruit. Yeah, but like so, oh, and they hey. had a killer python, but it wasn't the killer python brand, and that really buckled my noodle. <laughs> it was a dangerous boa. Mm. Like. So I'm, I'm in one of these things in like fucking 2018 and it was like the day after I'd been paid and they had some of those arcade one-ups. Right. And the thing about the arcade one-up is, is, you know, it's not awful, but, you know, it was 250 bucks. Right. And I didn't have to pay for any fucking shipping or anything. So which, an arcade one-up is just- It's a mini just, cabinet. It's a mini cabinet. Yeah, it was yeah. the, of the first arcade one-up, it was the Street Fighter 2 one. So it has like Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2, and then, I don't know, some some, some other fucking thing. So it's 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 a fucking, you know, IKEA flat pack box with like a basic fucking uh, you know, single board computer on it and a speaker and a screen. Right. It's like, yeah, but it plays Street Fighter and I knew that I could fiddle with it and get it to play other fucking games. Sure. And so I get it and like first things first, the controls on it were fucking shit house and immediately needed to be changed. Like the fucking sticks on it couldn't couldn't pull off, pull off a goddamn power, uh, power bomb. Power bomb. Fucking Hadouken. Hard, right? Hadouken even. Oh, wow. Yeah, I couldn't even do that. Like, Holy it was, shit. It, they, that's uh, bad. It was the loosest, shittiest fucking controls I've ever touched. And that's why it's so life. cheap. Yeah. Well, I mean, the weird thing is, is like joysticks and buttons are not fucking expensive. Like the expensive joysticks and buttons aren't that expensive. That's why yeah, I've got I know. them. Like, I've, you know, it's like, all right, if, you, if you're building your own fucking arcade, buying, you know, 400 fucking, you know, they, buttons dude, at they two prob- bucks they a probably, piece. They probably save like 10 cents, man. <sighs> Dude, it would have been like something. Like, yeah. Something so crazy. So anyway, I fucking got the thing. I, you know, pull the stupid single board computer out of there. I put in an old fucking computer I've got. I, you know, get some buttons, rewire it all up. I had to buy a fucking... The one The one fucking hassle was getting a, uh, you know, LCD controller because that was built into the, the board and there was just no way to sort of like finagle it. You needed to right. get your own one to control the LCD because otherwise a screen without the little bits of fucking computer doesn't do anything. It has no idea what you're telling it, which is fucking wild. You just forget about that because you're used to this being a HDMI hole. Yeah. And this did not have that. So, like, I had to get one of those. And th- that can be a little bit hairy because you got to get exactly the right one. But so. was it McClary? 
<laughs> Fuck you. Sorry. So I got that and that was fun. And the thing was, it was a bit small, you know, it was a, it's a, it's a mini cabinet. And the entire time I'm thinking to myself, you know, I, I want to get a bigger one eventually. I want to make a bigger one eventually somehow. Yeah. And anyway, the years go by. Over those years, I'd run into these little things, these little quirks that you get with emulators and various setups. And, you know, I'd download four versions of the one fucking game to get like the precise version of a, you know, PS3 game that, you know, because people have improperly dumped them and they're on the internet. So That's now my That's version of Tekken 6 has like this weird glitching that other versions of Tekken 6 has. So now I got to get like four versions of Tekken 6 and hope they're the right fucking version God of Tekken 6. Yeah. And then so like the, the, the file structure of the fucking cabinet was, sh- was a shit fight. It was mm-hmm. just, I've got stuff to work. I'm not looking at it ever again. Right. And as this is happening, I keep saying to myself, I'll fix all this when I get the new cabinet. And that's fine, except for when you're doing that for four fucking years and you wind up with four years worth of built up fucking fidgeting that you've got to do. And as someone who enjoys fidgeting with emulators, that's a lot of fucking fidgeting. You can lose a mm. whole day to this bullshit. And so case in point, now I have a nice big fat fucking fairly full size with a, the cabinet with a 32 inch fucking screen in it. And that's great because I have a light gun and I want to be able to play light gun games. And if you do that on a dinky little screen, it's kind of fucking pointless because mm. there's not a lot of aiming when the thing you're aiming at is effectively like a little bit bigger than a dinner plate. You know? Right. You're just like, oh, look, oh, over there, no, nope, over there. You're, just, you're, <laughs> you're kind of gently angling the fucking gun. It's, no, it's, it's, it's pointless. So I've got this done. I've got all this set up and I've got all these things plugged in and I've got, you know, fucking everything fucking sorted. And then I go, oh, you know, the Naomi fucking system that Sega had, which was basically a fucking dream cast that they put all an arcade cabinet around and called a fucking arcade machine. Uh, has a variety of really good light gun games on it. So that's where you get right. House of the Dead to fucking classic. You mm. need House of the Dead. You can't have a fucking thing and not have House yeah, of the Dead. Yeah, one of my too. favorites, yeah. Yeah. And then, aside from House of the Dead 2, I've got a little less, much less known one called Ninja Assault. Right. And it is not you being assaulted by ninjas. You are the ninja doing the assaulting. So oh, it's like it. the fun kind of assault yeah. where you're doing it. And do you get shurikens? Uh, no, it's, ah, it's, it's, it's a light gun game. You're a ninja assaulting like fucking a place full of samurai and you've got a gun somehow, but it's like, it's slightly different to a lot of them because a lot of the enemies have health bars and stuff. So you get like more damage from headshots, but you can get stunned by hitting like hands and feet and stuff. So there's a, there's a lot more okay. sort of internal strategy. It's a really fun game and it never got like a port or anything. No, I think bummer. there's like a version of it on the PS2, but it's like getting the light gun to work on the PS, like, you know, PC XS2 is a fucking whole goddamn thing in itself. The good thing about, like, you know, Naomi is it's emulated by the Flycast core on RetroArch. And the good thing about RetroArch is it has functionally a unified, you know, input system. Oh, Aaron's getting his din-dins. I get the pit stop in there. I gotta fucking work. Oh, look at him, his noodle box. It's rice. <laughs> I'm not allowed the noodles. <laughs> <laughs> noodles aren't allowed. Uh, cut so, out gluten, sir. So. Yeah, that's fair. So fucking, all right. Now, RetroArch is in a lot of ways very good, but also it has idiosyncrasies. And fortunately, my entire life has been spent dealing with things with (laughs) idiosyncrasies. So I'm kind of like, I approach this like someone pegging silly putty at a pile of Lego. Like it's just going to hit it and mold to the shape it needs to to fucking fit into the space. And like, that's how, you know, I've got by with most of this. So you start up RetroArch and you're at the RetroArch section. And see, that's the bit that tricks everybody because there's effectively two sections. There's the RetroArch section. That's all the fucking stuff you're looking at at first. And then there's the actual fucking core or emulator section. And that's where you can do sort of other things. So in the RetroArch section, you set the input. In the core section, you set controls. And these may feel synonymous. They are not synonymous. And so... I've got my thing set up, so I've got, you know, my two sticks as effectively like using the, you know, direct input system. So when you buy arcade machine parts, you get like usually a USB encoder and that USB encoder is going into the fucking windows and being recognized as direct input. Right. That's a good thing. Lots of emulators recognize direct input. Bad thing. Lots of modern fighting games don't seem to recognize direct input whatsoever. All right. So that's, that's kind of annoying because I've got a 32 inch screen now. It's not like a, a four by three, basically. So I've got some of them, you know, the modern widescreen fighting games on there. Cause it's actually, I'm not shrinking them down to like four by three and making it look munted and squashed. Yeah. So 
in order to get that to work, what I had to get was this, like, I either have to buy a whole fucking separate encoder, which are kind of a little bit expensive, and they also use a daisy chain, like, method of, like, configuring the ground wire, which I, like, uh. I just don't want to have to do. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'll just use, like, a fucking bridging program. That's easy enough. So I get X output, right? I get X output. X output takes the input from my fucking D input and converts it into X output. Great. That can work on pretty much fucking everything. Now, everything can fucking take X output, fortunately. From the modern games to a lot of the weird old-timey shit. I'm yet to run into something that's just like, nope, D-input D input only. Fan fact, fantastic. So, the problem is, now, MAME, because MAME's just this batshit fucking thing that absorbs everything, reads every time I push up as being an up on both the D-input controllers that the computer's still recognizing and the X-input controllers. And it, oh. won't, it won't just play friendly like those are just like two separate controls. Right. If you then go into a game and tap right to select a character, it goes right twice. So, okay, <laughs> now I have to get something called hid hide, which <laughs> is a layer that goes between these two programs that will blind certain, you know, will blind your system effectively to the D input. So now things are only detecting the X output. And I had to do that because when I started doing things in RetroArch, all of that stuff worked, except the light gun. Now that was weird because I got the light gun to work before. And I had the light gun set. It wouldn't detect the input at all in the input fucking section. And it's like, all right, something fucky's going on. For some reason, RetroArch, and I took a fid bunch of fiddling to get this done, will only accept the light gun if it's going through, if the controllers are going through X input. If I use the fucking hid, hide the blind it, and take the D input, it just negates the fucking, it just ne right. negates the light gun for some okay. baffling reason. All right, I fixed that. Great. Now my fucking house of the dead two is working again. Fantastic. And then I think to myself, okay, four years ago I said I was going to fiddle with this fucking thing. There's something wrong with fucking Ninja Assault. This doesn't. The controls don't seem to work correctly. All right, so I'm gonna. It's. I said I was going to do it. Now I've got to do it. I got to sit down. I got to get Ninja Assault working. I go in. Now, for most things with RetroArch, you set your input, and that governs how your controls will work with the menu, all that shit. You start a game. You go into that game, you go into controls, pick fucking player one, for instance, and then you set how that fucking, you know, controls are going to associate with the input. And it's batshit, and this could probably be much better organized. <laughs> but once you get sort of used to it, it's fine. Right. It's like there's an extra fucking bit of fiddling. At first, it's 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 a it's a shit fight. If you look this up on the internet, you'll see millions of people. Hey, I'm just starting with RetroArch. What the fuck's with this? Like people trying to get around this, and it's a fucking hassle. But I'm familiar with this fucking hassle, so it shouldn't be an issue. But now I've got this weird fucking thing where, like, for some reason, controls are working fine and fucking, you know, House of the Dead too, just not fucking working. The game loads up, but I'm not getting anything. And I fix this fucking hit hide issue, so this should be fucking working. All right, let's go hunting for a weirdly specific light gun game control issues with RetroArch and fucking fingers crossed hope for the goddamn best because you never know. Now there are other people who have this fucking problem. So, right. Okay. All right. No solutions here. No solutions here. No solutions here. Aha. So the thing about RetroArch is it's not like what you'd call, you know, it's not like MAME and MAME is functionally, you know, what the MAME people will say is uh, it's, you know, input fucking agnostic. Just any thing you push for, you know, if, once you say what input do you want for this, anything connected to the computer, anything you push, roll, fiddle with, poke, that can be set as the input. It doesn't give a shit. It doesn't give a shit what the fuck's plugged in. It doesn't give a shit what the fuck's going on. If, if you're not paying attention and are moving the mouse around while you're trying to set buttons for Street Fighter, congratulations, moving the mouse up is kick now. Like that's 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 the fucking that's it's it does it's raw. It I want to win a crazy. tournament with mouse Using, directions. You, yeah, you could set you could sick. literally set fucking back and forward and shit. I don't know if I do a mouse like your possible? fucking you know turntables from one of your fucking <laughs> you know Dan. You would, make it. You can play DJ. That'd be you, sick. You could be DDR. You could play have DJ you could, with yeah, the DJ. You could you could have exactly that. It's 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 it. And because you know it, it, they're they're emulating shitloads of weird arcade machines, some of which are like you know fruit machines from British pubs because the people <laughs> who run that program are insane. So. Okay, so what <laughs> RetroArch does, though, is RetroArch has to have coded within how the cores function a recognition of certain controls. So it's not like this where you can just push a button and have it go, oh, you want that button to do this. It has to say, 
this button exists in the game. This button is being coded into this position on the emulator. It's being coded into this position on the fucking core. And now you're able to go into a list of potential existent controls and make it do this. Now that mostly works. And when it works, it's fine. Cause you can just click the fucking trigger for your gun and house of the dead Two now knows that means shoot. Right. Doesn't do that in fucking Ninja Assault though, because for some reason the coding went fucky with Ninja <laughs> Assault. And so light gun auxiliary button B is shoot. Uh, light gun select is start. Light gun start is coin. <laughs> and one of the fucking other ones is reload. So the, the, the problem that's happened is the code has come through weird and that fucking connective tissue has just gone to shit. Fortunately, people have fucking fixed it. Now, the issue is the light gun being a fairly set thing doesn't exist in controls. It exists in input and input stays the same regardless of what cores you're using. Right. And the problem is these things use the same core. So if I change the controls to a system that works for fucking Ninja Assault, that system will no longer work for House of the Dead 2. So if I want to move between these games at any point, I have to go in and fucking change the controls. I'm like, all right, there's got to be a fucking workaround for this. I'll, I'll fucking use my brain. What I'll do is I'll go in and I'll set like the second controller that is, you know, again, the, the right joystick, the mm. player two joystick. I'll set that one up to also have a light gun. I'll map that light gun to just what it has to be for Ninja Assault and then set the Ninja Assault options to be player one map from player two. Right. And technically that piece of brilliance should have worked. Right. It did not. <laughs> and Fuck. there was absolutely zero help on the internet. Cause I feel like I was probably the only person who has run into this problem and attempt to fix it in that fucking fashion. And so another to thing, be fair, that is really clever. And I wish it did work. It 100% should have worked, mm. and I don't know why it didn't. Because fuck you. Yeah, that really bummed me out because I was like, oh, okay, this is great because I only have one light gun. I'm not playing two-player light gun games, so I don't care. I don't need to worry about that second part because there are other things you can do. You can yeah. get Demol Shooter, which is yet another program that you can have like, oh, and if you want that to work properly, you need like to download auto hotkey script, which is another program. And what you do is you create little auto hotkey scripts that you use to launch the emulator that you're trying to get the game to run, the fucking demo that you need to act as the fucking bit that goes between the emulator, the gun, and like the fucking thing to translate it properly. And then you need like the auto hockey script to close it down and shit. And uh, you know, otherwise none of this fucking magic fucking takes place. I don't want to do that. So I'm like, I'll just do this player two thing. Cause I'm a genius and then it doesn't work. And I'm feeling kind of pissed off about that. So I think to myself, all right, Aaron's choking on his rice. I go, all right. It's like a beat in my throat. <laughs> fucking hate that. You know, I'm, you know, it's been, it's been a while now. Cause in, but this is not all happening at like, it's not like I'm going under the fucking speed force to make this happen. It's like I sit there and just vibrate and go, ah, oh, I've seen all future potentialities. This is taking time. I have to go to the fucking computer, sit down and go, all right, type this thing in. All right. I'm going to go to like this, this forum's advice is specifically for Linux, but maybe some of it's like can translate. Like if it's, if it's just like change an option, I'm sure I could fucking manage that. It's like, all right, I just read like a fucking long goddamn fucking thing on some weird sub GitHub thing about how like X doesn't work on Linux and the solution is not fucking beneficial to me. So like there's, there's, this is taking me some fucking hours and I go, all right, I'll just use the other retro work that I have installed. Why do I have a second RetroArch installed? Because for ages, the Sega Saturn emulator or the Sega Saturn Core, which runs a few really good like of uh, Saturn fighting games and a few of the like weird arcade games they released on what was effectively a Sega Saturn, they jammed into an arcade cabinet because Sega have been doing this for generations. Um, and it would only, because the Saturn is a nest of madness, only play at full speed on a good computer if you use the Vulcan, like, right. you know, yeah. fucking graphics adapter. And that's great, except for some reason, Vulcan was causing weird issues at the time with the fucking Flycast core and making my Naomi games and Dreamcast games run really slowly, which is fucking annoying. Mm. So I had to just have two. Yep. And that was the fucking Saturn things ran on that, the fucking Dreamcast things ran on that, and everything worked and fine. So I'm like, all right, I'll just run this shit. I'll have fucking Ninja Assault run on fucking the Saturn fucking thing. I'll have to download the fucking Flycast core for it. 
I'll have to set the fucking controls there. I'll have to change some of the ways that it interacts with LaunchBox so it doesn't accidentally try to launch it using the fucking like Kronos fucking <clears throat> core, uh, you know, which won't run it. It'll just be confused. Mm. All that gets finished. All that gets done. And at the time I think to myself, hey, while I'm here, I'll also update the cores. I update the cores and I go, all right, that's all done. I'll come in now. I've already, you know, this was what I was using earlier on the fucking regular one. So on this one, it should just work out of the box and it'll be fine. Mm. I try it and it doesn't work. And I think to myself, I bet I already know what the fucking problem is. And I go in and I go to fucking input and I set trigger to trigger and I set start to start and coin to coin. And I go back and the thing works perfectly fine because in the meantime, they updated the fucking flycast core to fix that funny little problem that I've been talking about. And that didn't come up anywhere in my searches. So... All I had to do was update the core and the thing would have worked just perfectly fucking fine. And that was give or take about four hours mm. of click. That's not working. Why isn't that working? Click. Okay. <laughs> Why isn't that working now? I've already got the fucking thing that hides my controls from this and that and the other. The frustrating thing about the fucking hit hide situation is like D input works on so much of my shit. It's mm. just like if I want to play King of Fighters 15 and I have like a fucking direct input fucking thing shoved in there. It's just like, I don't know what that is. Fuck you, homo. Use your goddamn keyboard. I don't want to use my keyboard to play a King of Fighters 15, Aaron. That's not fun. No. And so I'm stuck with this. And all I had to do, all someone anywhere had to do was go, oh, yeah, that problem. Yeah, we updated that. That's That should have been in an update notice somewhere, like Flycast Core updated to fix Ninja Assault so the gun is gun and not just auxiliary <laughs> cheese. And the good thing is, you know, Aaron, Ninja Assault's a fun game. It's you're the ninja, so you're not the one being assaulted. Which is always good. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if, I, I think the samurai have it coming. And, uh, yeah, so I got that finished and, um, then decided to ruin my life by moving on to getting some of the, uh, PCXS2 ones to work, which, uh. See, right now, this is you, okay? Uh, you just, uh, you got your whip, right? Uh. And you went, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. You gave yourself a few lashes and then you decided to affix a few more tails onto the whip to yeah. make it spicy. Yeah. And uh, the cat of several tails, yeah. I lost count. Uh, yeah, yeah, cat of multiple tails. No, like, because PCXS2, I got a few games working reasonably well, and other ones I give a shit about. So it's like, all right, I'm not going to overthink this. I'm just going to leave that be. Right. RCPS3, and this is kind of a bummer because that has like fucking Time Crisis 4. Yeah. Uh, that requires Demol Shooter. I haven't bothered to fucking sit down and fiddle with that yet. Right. It also has to be, so there are certain things, so for some reason, some of the light gun games go fucking spaznut if you're in full screen. Okay. And the thing about RCP is, is it doesn't have RCPS3 is it doesn't have uh, windowed full screen. Right. So you need windowed full screen. And that means I have to download another program <laughs> in order to get it to be windowed full screen and have an auto hockey script to load that, load demo shooter, and then I can play Time Crisis 4. And I don't want to do that just yet because I'm sad from everything that I had to do just to get Ninja Assault I'm sad running. from what you just said. Uh, it gets worse. Fuck like, so the, the, there's that, that, that. That's kind of annoying, so I'm not playing that. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, Time Crisis 5, I've got to get Dimmel Shooter working to get that to work, but it does work. Uh, the, 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 the fun thing that I haven't touched quite yet has been getting the old Daphne light gun games working again. You know, you remember those shitty ones that had, like, it was just a video? You know, yeah. like, yeah. Like, they're called American Laser Games, which <laughs> sounds way more fun than what it is. And there are loads of different versions of it. Like, for some baffling reason, like, Mad Dog McCree got ported to, like, almost everything that ever existed. Yeah. And I, I don't know why. But like it's the best game in existence. <laughs> duh. Yeah, but, like, lots of it is fucking shit because they're really badly compressed video. And the one thing this game's got going for it was, like, Laserdisc quality video. Right. The only problem is all the fucking Laserdisc emulators are weird because... You're not playing a game exactly. Sometimes you got to have a ROM and sometimes you don't need the ROM, but you need like a script for all the video files that you have just raw sitting in a fucking folder somewhere. And none of them just play nicely with like every form of control. Like there's always some weird thing where it'll like recognize your fucking buttons, but won't recognize your fucking stick. And so I downloaded one recently, but and it, it lets you properly change the controls, but 
it. You have to do this via command line because the kind of people who enjoy Laserdisc games are autistic. And now I'm stuck having to learn what the fucking, you know how there's that international like programming script that like all these things use to like define what like a keyboard press is and shit. You got to use that, but for buttons. And so you got to go in and like, I don't know, learn to code to tell like fucking Daphne what buttons you're desperately trying to get your fucking game to work with. <laughs> yeah. And so it's, uh, yeah, you know, arcade cabinet ownership is, 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 is in a lot of ways a mixed blessing. Um, I do enjoy it. Look, I got, all I'm going to say is if you're a billionaire could own all the real things, it would be a fucking easier than this. <laughs> I sort of, I do sort of get that in a lot of ways. Like I'll look at people going, ah, oh, I've just managed to pick up this cabinet. And they're, you know, they're people of like, who have the money to, you know, just frivolously spend on a having the space for like, yeah a personal arcade and B cause it's always struck me as largely kind of pointless to have like a lot of the old fucking, you know, shit. When you can get it all in one. Yeah. You really can. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's the con that arcade one up have. They keep releasing like arcade one ups for like a game. And it's like, that's dumb. Yeah. Not, that's fucking ridiculous. I'm not no, doing that. Like they like they released the, the only ones I think that like a kind of worth is when they release one that's a, like a different, it has like instead of two player, like it has four player built in, you know. Yeah, Stuff like, like I that. think the Simpsons one, but it's like yeah, there's the Simpsons. They brought out the X Men one. Yeah. It's always like oh yeah, there's like a few modifications here, but it's like it's it's such a weirdly it's aiming at such a weird niche because the niche is usually people like me. Yeah, and we build things ourselves. I think it's we just want the try, they're shit. trying to grab a lot of nostalgia. Like for example, you know. My mum would probably, like, if there was a game she remembered, would lose yeah. lose her shit, like one of the fucking Galaga or something, you yeah. know? Like, they're, tr- they're preying on just hitting everyone in that market. Yeah, it really is. Because they're, it's, they're it's, not it's trying the, to sell. nostalgia. Yeah, they're not trying to sell, like, all the cabinets to one person. They're just trying to sell to everyone. Yeah. It's a shame, because, like, the cabinet that I bought was, like, $400, but it's also, like, an insanely dense, high-quality piece of MDF. Like, yeah. it's not like just a bit of chipboard you'd get from Bunnings for 50 bucks. Yeah. But the thing is, that 50 buck fucking Bunnings chipboard would work perfectly fine for a fucking simple one. Oh, I'm Like, something like, I'm always surprised I don't see, like, just, oh, yeah, here's, like, a cabinet that you got to put, like, a TV in, it's 100 bucks. Like, you supply the rest, champ. Because it, f- for a fucking simple one, for a cheap one, it, sh- it should be that simple. Mm. Like, when, you know, you're a maniac like me and are waiting on, like, more light gun parts so you can get it, like, you know, working properly and, you know probably going to get like i've been researching korean arcade sticks because they're the closest ones to like the old mcas that australia used to have but like the problem is they're korean so they're all built for like tekken and some of them don't have corners because tekken people exist in a bizarre universe and i don't want to get some you know i don't want to accidentally buy some fucking you know tekken sphincter which is basically what it is like if you chucked it in a real doll you could fuck it and like i'm not there yet you know, with my fucking arcade love. I just want something that's going to be, because the old MCA sticks, there is nothing like an MCA stick. No. In Australia, we had these things called MCA sticks, and they were built to survive in pubs and getting, like, fights picked with them by drunk bogans. And they have, like, no throw. They move, like, maybe a millimeter. They're incredibly precise, and they are stiff as shit. It's like an inanimate carbon rod. Pretty much. Like, yeah. And you can get them online, but like only occasionally, and they're usually a bit beat up, and it sucks because every every fucking arcade stick feels loose and weak to me. You know, I, feel I agree. Yeah, it, I should be trying to fucking play fighting games with a statue's wang. That's what I fucking want. And I'm stuck here having to buy like it's plastic like, anuses from Korean arcade stores. To, for for an analogy for those who don't know, kind of what that feels like. If you've ever driven a car without power steering. It is all. It is a lot like that. It's like because huh? if you've driven a car with loose power steering, that's the analogy. So a loose power steering to no power steering, and like the no way power steering is, you will be precise, but you have to put the effort in. Yeah, that was that. That was what the old days were in Australia. Was like, oh yeah, here's here's your arcade cabinet. Here's your arcade stick. You better you you best learn how to do these fucking moves, sunshine. Because if you wiggle that fucking thing so much as a hair in one direction. Off you go. And God, I miss that. <laughs> uh, but on the plus side, you know, Ninja Assault's pretty good. I'm glad you get to play it. How long did you play it for? 
Um, a while, like uh, enough that you know, so much. Uh, like I, I, I use the light gun games, and I use standing in front of the thing. Like I generally, I try, I try to stand in horse stance, so I'm like at least doing something. Because mm. otherwise, I just kind of slouch a little bit. Because where it stands generally is just a maybe about a cinder block below my height, and I wouldn't mind getting something under it to maybe rise it up a little bit, just so it's like you know neutral for me because it's mine and children can go fuck themselves. Yeah. Uh. But I mean, otherwise, you know, it's it's perfect height for this weird fucking stool that I've had for ages and just never gotten rid of because it looked like it was reasonable quality, and now it paid off, which is exactly why like I have difficulty throwing things out because this hundred percent, dude, this like stool from four houses ago wound up being. Kimmy the told me height. to throw this drum stool out like eight times, right? Oh and, yeah, what a maniac! Why and would you I started do that? drumming again, yeah. and oh, I've got yeah. a drum stool. I know, like you see, yeah. no, I'm not throwing these things out. Like my drums drum may have rusted years. and unusable, but <laughs> yeah. I borrowed Wayne's. God damn it! Yeah, all right, my <laughs> drums are shit, but like you, you're not seeing the big picture here. You know, <laughs> I one, I, I one day may need to sit at exactly this height. Exactly. And like, I don't want to have to go to a store or some no, shit. I don't want to have to go to a store and go. I need a drum store. Oh, you playing some drums? Yeah. What sort of kit have you got? Rock band. <laughs> what? What's that? Mm, it's don't... a video game. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> shh. shh. <laughs> Don't let them know. They'll kick us out. But yeah, for anyone playing at home, they fixed Ninja Assault controls now. So that's that's nice. You don't have to you don't have to go through the old weird thing where you had to set shoot to auxiliary A. Cause like that was Auxiliary A. Yeah. Uh, auxiliary A. It's a fun game. Like if you can be bothered getting it running on PCXX2, that's one option, but I wouldn't bother because PCXS2 is such a fucky workaround. Cause like in order to like you have to use save states to bypass um, the fucking calibration screen that you get with the gun con natively in PCXS2 right. because there has to be a hack on to get the calibration screen to work. But that hack that gets the calibration screen to work, fucks up the trigger mechanism when you're using the game normally. So you can't fire rapidly. It'll fire like once every two or three squeezes. And it's just like you either start the game Get the calibration, go out, switch that off. And again, when you're trying to just enjoy a cabinet, you know, I don't want to get my mouse out. You know, if I want to do yeah. that, I, just, I wouldn't have a cabinet. I just have it on a shelf. Exactly. You know, I want a fucking arcade experience here. You know, so I'm trying to get my fucking Time Crisis 2 going, which fucking, I got that going. And, oh, that's a fucking gem. I'm almost going to plug like my, fo- oh yeah, that's the other downside about PC Access 2 is like the new V plugin that it uses for its light gun will only accept mouse and it will not accept anything that you tell some one of those like control rejiggers to be the mouse. Mm. So I have a fucking pedal, but that pedal only works for like one time crisis game, the one that works on MAME. And yeah, it's like, well, I got that. And then you try to use it for time crisis two and three. It's just like, nope. Yeah. So like waiting on a bit of development for the new V plugin. I'd like to see that now that they're putting some fucking work into PC access two again, because that would be, that'd be just pleasant. You know, Mm. that'd be, that'd, that'd be just cherry. I'd like that. I'd fucking, I don't know which fucking mutant furry do I play? Do I pay to like fucking get this stuff done? Because they're all furries, you know they're all furries. This is why they don't fucking program. They hey, spend too much time furries? getting into fursuits. That's just where most of the programming is. Oh really? Yeah. I don't know why. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the correlation. Fucking arcade enthusiasts are furries. Yeah, are not arcade enthusiasts. Like oh. people, people who make emulators by themselves in the dark. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, no arcade emulator. Uh, arcade enthusiasts really generally they're a bit too old. To be fair, as far as didn't really exist when well, I mean they sort of did, they're but just they're just denying their true selves. <laughs> they need to go go yiff and uh, Get in a live suit. some life, you know. Yeah, sniff some butts. I don't know, like if they smell like a dog, I don't think that's very good because I can smell a dog now and that's not very pleasant. So yeah, but to them, yeah, but I mean, like you know, that's might be nice. I mean, if they fucking crick that bit, maybe I don't know. What smelling like a dog? Yeah. Do they want to smell like a dog? Well, though? no, but I mean, like, if it's real, like, not if it's just a uh-huh. person in a suit, like, because, you know, I think yeah, about, sure like, the future get, like, and aliens lands. and shit. Like, it's like, all right, you know. Well, why don't we I just mean, get some glands out of a dog? you want to stick your dick in aliens. Just grab the glands onto the suit. Well, no, but I don't want the glands. Oh. I don't want that dog smell. Oh. Like, that's the problem. It's like a dog's mouth does not smell pleasant, you know? Oh, maybe, so you, you want to take- a dog person that brushes its teeth would. I don't oh, know. Oh, I get what you- t- Okay. Now I'm on the same page. I okay, catch up, Aaron. You're there fucking thinking about goddamn fursuits. I'm sitting here looking at Mario, man. Yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking looking, about looking like, my 8-bit you know, Mario. fucking actual monsters. 8-bit Mario's a monster. He killed a man. That's true. <laughs> he stole that bike in Bubble Bubble. That was Mario. <laughs> oh, okay. So 
I've got Bubble Bobble on my arcade cabinet. Yeah. I thought, you know, I went through and got all a lot of the old 80s games, you know, through because they're a lot of fun. Like, I really love the Snow Brothers. That's a f- I, I'll sit there and play that. The problem is, is like, it'll rotate through on a track mode. And then every now and then I'll just hear dee, 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 the fucking, you know, bubble bubble music. And then I have N words to all my of bike course. stuck in my head. And then of I'm course. walking around singing that. Yep. And so I keep kind of like changing it in my head because mm-hmm. it needs to be something else. Yeah. And so far it's been going back in time. So rather than using modern terminology, I've come to more absconded with my velocipede, which is the only way I'm coping with getting and words on my bike stuck in my head, like about once a day at this point. Those are unknown. It is a you're the man now dog. Yeah. And it was of the, the bubble bubble theme. And it had, I think, it was a character from what? What? River, no, it was just River it, City or well, whatever. No, it was um, it was oh. the the training sequence from Punch oh, Out. You're right. It's just him yeah. jogging behind the coach. But someone <laughs> had like taken that and just you know put a you know macro under it of just N word stole my bike. And it, it sang it. N word stole. Yeah. N word stole. And for some reason N-word it's stole it's my yeah, bike. it's set to like it's set to fucking bubble you know, bubble. bubble bubble music. And that is an unbelievably catchy little. You kid. cannot get that out of your head. We saw that like fucking twenty years ago. That Not was back when ago, like. YouTube was just starting. There was YouTube and yeah, YTMMD. Dude. And it's like, well, yeah, look at these two things and how useful they are. Because I remember like- Because that was back when you could only upload like oh, a five minute or two man. minute thing on YouTube. Yeah. So it's like it's not like you're going to get like a 40 minute video on, no. you know, something, which is probably for the best, it's honestly. Be short and sweet. Yeah, and you weren't allowed to, to have point. like 10 hours of like the voice saying MacGyver from that episode MacGyver. of The Simpsons. I really recommend looking up five second films on YouTube if you want. Just some things to laugh to because they just some of the stuff they have is just because they do essentially mm-hmm. five seconds of of film at you and <gasps> Lordy. But for those of you at home, if you're suffering with your fucking emulation, message me on Twitter because like I can probably help. Hey, <laughs> I'm like because holy fuck, if there's it's that it, the, it's that demon in me. If there's media I can't immediately get on the internet, it's the most interesting thing in the world to me, and I need to get it running even if it's just like an FMV game from like 1998. Dude, Super Bubsy. Some of which are pretty good. Super Bubsy. Super Bubsy. Remember how that, that was like, when I found out about that like 10 years ago, I went ballistic right, yeah. and then it's like, I want this, I can't have this. Why can I not this get this working? Eh, and then it's like, me. well, I have a fucking Windows 98 emulation and it like works. <laughs> and like, yeah, so I feel you like on that. That yeah. was my white way. I don't have many, so I'm, I'm a more simple man. Yeah, I'm not. I have that, and I, and I have one. the Milo yeah. game that was on, <laughs> which was a skateboarding game, and it was fucking sick. It actually wasn't. It was actually playable, which yeah. was wild. It's really good. So yeah, I mean, the moral, the, you know, the moral of the story, the bee in this bonnet is like, sometimes when you're trying to fiddle with emulator shit, maybe check on like the newest stuff going on. Maybe the first, first things first. Maybe download the newest version of something and see if it works. Don't. Do like me, because I I literally wasted four hours that would have been fixed in half a second. Mm. Like, and I've, I'm very, it was hours I spent fucking with this. And guess what? Hey, let's click update. It's already solved. Yeah, yeah. Oh, update for Flycaster update. Well, what happens now? Oh, that problem that's besieged you for four hours just works. Or just message me and I'll, I'll solve it because I have nothing else to do. That has been the bees. That was the, the bee in bonnet. my fucking bonnet. The bonnet is now empty of bees. And we will see you next week. Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. It expanded somehow. I'll have you know...